stressing talking about sex with your kids? Mm -hmm. Well, this might change your mind. It could, according to the National Campaign to Prevent Teen Pregnancy, 87% of teens say it would be easier for them to postpone sexual activity and avoid pregnancy if they were able to have an open, honest conversation with their parents. Oh, my gosh. I am a huge <laughs> fan. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. There goes the honest <laughs> open up. Oh, my, oh my, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my, God. Oh my God. goodness. Oh. Gracious. Oh. Gracious. Oh. Gracious. Jimmy, not how you want to Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> here, everybody. Hey, how are you? Oh, hey, how are you? Amber Madison. Amber, it's a pleasure. Oh, my nice to see you. How are you? Not put up. Not put up. Not put up. Give her a little love. Come to me. Give her a little love. I dissed her earlier. How are you? So much. I'm doing great. Can you stay a minute and talk Take sex with us? Yeah, yeah. Well, sure. Wait, what's going on? Okay, first of all, you know we were upset that you hadn't come on our show, so thank you for stopping by. I was outside on my cell phone. I was talking to everyone back there. This is a mercy visit. That's no, it's not a mercy all visit. Oh, I love you It's guys. a mercy drive-by. And by the way, I, you guys can come on my show whenever you want. Like, really? We, 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 you're on, we want to book you Like, whenever you want to come Wait, on. I have a question. You're Kathy, a great Kathy guest. Lee says I was booked because a guest canceled the, the last That's what I heard. He, we, the truth is, yeah, Liam Gallagher was vomiting. See? <laughs> But, but, but you were on our list anyway. We wanted to book you anyway, so we figured, well, we're going to call you anyway and ask you for a booking, so why not now? So why not when you came through? But, but whenever you want to, I mean, can you, do you want to set up dates? Yes, we do. Sorry, Amber. First Amber, Amber yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so Amber. Like, do you have a book? Do you, yes, I do. I do. You want to run the interview? Yes. I do. With some, some pretty disturbing statistics. Yes. By, by freshman Absolutely. year, one out of every three children say they've had sex. What? By senior year... Two out of three. What mm -hmm. high school is that? My high school. <laughs> right. Well, maybe not you. Maybe. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a national statistic, which yeah. should frighten yeah. them. Absolutely. And that's why parents really need to be speaking with their kids about these issues. Well, when do you have the conversation? When's the right time? I think, you know, well, hopefully you've been talking with your kids their entire lives and being open about sex and sexuality. But maybe you've been really... feeding them a bunch of bull about, you know, it's the, it's the <laughs> yeah. stork, it's, you know. Right. It's, well, by in... middle school, that's when they you really know. need to get in there and talk about, school. you know, fits. <laughs> Six, seventh, eighth. Jimmy, when did they there? talk to you? I was 22 <laughs> when my dad had the conversation with me. Yeah. He, he sat me down and said, son, you got to get out of the house. <laughs> and then, yeah, we got to talk, talk about sex. And, it was, and did it, did, did and it, that's all. Did I, it do the job? Well, I'm, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm Irish Catholic, so I'm afraid to even talk about um, genitalia. Uh, anything in general, sex, we don't talk about it. I yeah. shower in the dark. It's, uh, <laughs> that's, I don't want to know what's happening. But, uh, yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, we've... We've had that talk, and it's just, it was, uh, you know. Who had the dad, your dad had the talk? Yeah. Okay, but so I already I knew from like kids in school. It. Kids in school already talked about it. Uh, you already knew. Because, and plus, there's everyone. Everyone talks about On the playground, people talk about it, but it's like. Yeah. And now there's Facebook and a million other ways that kids can yeah. learn about stuff, right? Absolutely. And I mean, but that's a big concern with yeah. a lot of parents is the whole sexting thing and Facebook. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like, look, if you raise sexually responsible kids yeah. who respect their bodies, they're not going to be posting you know, naked pictures of themselves on Facebook. Sure. So that's the first thing. Do you thing. blame the parents? Good for you. Well, you know, I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying if you don't want your kids to be posting pictures on Facebook, talk with them right, about right. sex and sexuality and what's appropriate. Should the mom have the talk with the daughter and the dad with the son that way? You know, sure. For genital-specific issues. Genital or general? Genital. 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 She so said genital. I said genital. Is that allowed? Am I allowed to say genital? That's the bonus yes. word. That's the magic that's word. word. Someone wins a pot Five holder point. right now. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we use it, somebody wins a pot. I love that. So, right. yeah, for, you know, those kind of specific issues, you word. probably want moms talking to daughters. You know, father. I did it with sons. both my kids, a boy and a girl. You told yeah, me. I didn't believe that. I didn't, and I didn't trust so right for that. Great, Kathy. No, because you need to, like, definitely involve both parents in the conversation. Right, the more open you are with them, the less of a big deal it is. Yeah, yeah. totally. And there's so that many messages smart. that you know fathers can tell daughters and and mothers can tell sons, and are probably going to work better that way. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. <laughs> you know, I'll just never forget my son's face when I finally explained it was like oh, Legos. No. Actually, I said it's really? like Legos. <laughs> what? Yeah, we're beautiful. Beautifully made to fit together just beautifully, like Legos. You did, you said yes. Legos? Yes, you said, and how did he turn out? And, then and you, I told him the whole thing. And then you, you, got, two, you got two stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> And, sort and of that's, like that. that's what I would say when you are talking to your kids. Don't do that. Don't you know, do that. you don't need a demonstration. <laughs> they don't need the no, lie. No, I just talked to him about it, and, yeah. and, and his face just contorted. Like, oh, my God, you did that with Dad. It was just disgusting. Did he and ever play he, with Legos again? No, no, he did, but then he, he was playing with Jerry. He got Jerry Jerry Legos. Set He's with, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You had Come to on. go there. You had to go there. Go to the sixth 
four and he'll come beat you up. Yes, he, he will. Oh, I know will. Cody's this big. No, he's L- six Little blonde four. hair, he's cute, he yeah. sings songs. He's cute. <laughs> Wait, Cody's grown up? He's, he's a man. 20. He's 20. He just turned 20. I know. That I just have, I have the best of Cody on DVD. <laughs> and it's this, he's this big. He's really just tiny. And he's really cute. Oh, oh Amber, thank you, you for being a good so sport. Sweet. It's yeah, a we yeah. What's it called? Talking about sex? Talking sex with your kids. Talk yeah. About, I'm blocking the sign. <laughs> Talking sex, sex with oh, your kids. Oh, there you go. Very that important. Jimmy, we Jimmy, love you. Jimmy, we love you. I love you. All right, sweetie. I love you guys. We'll come see you any time. Bye. I love you, too. Bye. Thanks for dropping by. And if you ever drop out and you're sick, uh, we'll host. Uh.